Well, howdy folks. My name is Sam and I'm the sheriff of this here town, Tubbleweed Canyon. My job is to keep the town safe and help all the people have barrels of fun. Well, I'll be. I just had a root and toot an idea. I'm needing some help today and I thought y'all could be my deputies. A deputy helps out and learns all they can from the sheriff. So would you like to be my deputies today? Yeah! Yee doggy! This is gonna be the best day in the West. Now, to be a deputy, you need to put on your special badge. Here you go. Just put it on your shirt like this. Looking good. Now let me see y'all sit up nice and tall. Put one hand in the air and repeat the special deputy oath after me. I promise. I promise. To keep the town safe. To keep the town safe. And show God's love. And show God's love. To everyone I meet. To everyone I meet. Yeehaw. I say we stand up and sing a song to celebrate all you brand new deputies. Hey there, how do you do? We're headed out west, but we're waiting on you. Kick up your boots and join the fun. Just follow along, watch how it's done. We're headed out west and we're all in this together. Get it up, partner, it's time to go. We're headed out west like birds of a feather. High. Saddle up, it's time to ride. Get on your feet, lickety split, stomp your boots and just don't quit. We're headed out west and we're all in this together. Get it up, partner, it's time to go. We're headed out west like birds of a feather. Come on, get up. It's time to go. Spin your lasso round and round. Come on, partner, let's get down. Nowhere else we'd rather be. Come on and holler. Repeat after me. Yee haw! Yee haw! Yee haw! Yee haw! Yee Partner, it's time to go. We're headed out west like birds of a feather. Come on, get up, it's time to go. We're headed out west and we're all in this together. Get it up, partner, it's time to go. We're headed out west like birds of a feather. Buckaroos, you can be sitting back down in your spots. Now, if you're going to be a deputy in this here town, you've got to learn the two rules of Tumbleweed Canyon. Rule number one is to be kind. Let me see all my deputies hold up one finger and say, be kind. Be, be kind. kind. Mighty fine. One way we are kind is by listening to others. If you can listen to the folks in our town today, click on your listening ears with me. Click. 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 Good job, buckaroos. Now rule number two is to be safe. Let me see all my deputies hold up two fingers and say, be safe. Be, be safe. safe. You got it. As we roam the streets and help those we meet, stick with me and keep your special eyes wide open. If you think you can stay safe, let me see you put on your special eyes too. Zoop, zoop. That's it. Our job is to check on people in the town and make sure that everyone is A-OK. -okay. Let's mosey on over to the town hall and see how things are going. As you can see, the town is getting ready for our Thanksgiving feast. 
Everyone from the town is invited, including all of you. But there's one giant problem. We really want old Billy the Bandit to join us, but he told me he didn't have one single thing to be thankful for, so he didn't want to join us. As sheriff and deputies, it's our job to take care of the folks in our town, including Billy the Bandit. This time, Billy isn't wanted because he was creating trouble in the town. Instead, we want him to come join in our Thanksgiving fun. I think there's something in God's word that can help old Billy out. Do you buckaroos know what God's word is? The Bible. You betcha. There's a man in the Bible named Moses. Moses didn't always have an easy peasy life. And there were probably times he may not have felt like he had much to be thankful for. But the Bible shows us how God always cared about Moses. Moses knew how much God loved him. And this helped Moses stay thankful through the good and not so great times. So make sure you still got on your listening ears and your special eyes. Now let's check out this story from the Bible. Long ago, God's people, the Israelites, lived in a place called Egypt with a mean ruler named Pharaoh. Pharaoh made a rule that when a baby boy was born, he had to be thrown into the Nile River. But one Israelite mommy had a baby boy and she made a special basket for him and placed him in the river. This mommy thanked God because he kept her baby boy safe as he floated right up to Pharaoh's house. Pharaoh's daughter saw the special baby and wanted to help the baby and keep him safe. This special baby's name was Moses. When Moses grew up, God wanted him to be in charge of leading the Israelites away from the mean Pharaoh to a special land God had just for them. The Israelites were so thankful to get away, but the trip to get to this special land took a long time. They had to travel through hot deserts where there was no food or water. And the Israelites started to argue and complain. They even wished they could go back to Egypt where things were so terrible. They started to feel like they didn't have anything to thank God for. But when God saw that his people were hungry and thirsty, he fed them and gave them water. They could have thanked God for that, but in time, they just started to complain again. As they neared the special land, Moses sent 12 men to go see what the land looked like. After 40 days, the 12 men returned to Moses. They told him all that they had seen and showed him the big, yummy fruit of the land. But they also told Moses that the people who lived there were very strong and the cities had tall walls around them. Most of the men were very scared and they got everyone around them to feel scared too. Everyone was scared, except Caleb and Joshua. They told Moses that they should go and take the land. They believed that God had a plan for them and that he would keep his promise to be with them. God let Caleb and Joshua go into that promised land, but he did not let the other 10 men go in. God wants you and me to be like Moses, Joshua, and Caleb. He wants us to trust him and to be thankful because we know God is always working things out for our good. Whoo doggy! You and I can thank God. That's exactly what we need to know today. And Billy needs to know that God has done so much to help him and he wants Billy to be thankful too. Deputies, we need to use our special eyes and hunt for clues that will help us catch Billy the Bandit and bring him on back to our Thanksgiving feast. Do you see any clues around here that might lead us to him? Yeah! Way to use those special eyes of yours. Well, I'll be. It looks like Billy the Bandit left a set of tracks for us to follow. And there's a question stuck to these here tracks. Deputies, did God help Moses and the Israelites get away from Billy the Bandit or the mean Pharaoh? The mean Pharaoh! Right a Rooney! I'm sure they were so thankful that God had a good plan to get them away from that mean old Pharaoh. Deputies, do you see any other clues that might lead us to Billy the Bandit? Yeah! Well, talking turkeys, these tracks have a question for us too. Deputies, did Joshua and Caleb want to run away from the land or go into the land God had for them? Go into the land! You betcha! Even though it may have looked different than they expected and most of the people were scared, Joshua and Caleb wanted to go into the land. 
We gotta be close to finding old Billy the Bandit. Deputies, do you see any other clues that might lead us to him? Yeah! All right, let's answer this question and maybe Billy the Bandit will be right around the corner. Deputies, should I complain when I don't get what I want? Or can I still thank God? Thank God! Yahoo! You can always thank God. Deputies, when we find Billy the Bandit, we gotta let him know that he can thank God too. So let's practice. Just repeat after me. I can. I can. Thank God. Thank God. You got it. Now keep those special eyes on the lookout for old Billy the Bandit. Billy is on the run. Saddle up and help us catch him. Lean this way or that way to steer. Let's go. Lean this way. Lean that way. Lean this way. Lean that way. Lean that way. Lean this way. Lean that way. Hooray! We did it. We caught up with Billy the Bandit. Get those lassos ready. Deputies, we did it. We caught up with Billy the Bandit. Do you remember what Billy needs to know? Say it after me in your loudest Tumbleweed Canyon voices. I can. I can. Thank God. Thank God. Really? Even me? Well, yippee skippy. I'm real sorry for all the trouble I caused. Will you forgive me? You bet your lassos we forgive you, Billy. God wants you to know that he loves you and that's just one of the many things you can thank him for. And he's given you so many friends here in Tumbleweed Canyon, including me and all of our deputies. That's something else you can thank God for. You see, Billy, we thank God for you. And we want you to roll on over to town and join us for the town's Thanksgiving feast. Deputies, that was some mighty fine work tracking down our bandit and telling him what he needs to know. I want you to know that you can thank God too. You can thank God for the people who take care of you, like your family, the friends you have to play with, and you can thank God for giving us his word, the Bible. But the best thing to thank God for is his love for us. He loves you so much, and he's always working things out for your good. Hey, I know a song about that. Stand up and sing it with me. God is always working for the good of those who love him. The Bible says his plans for me are good. Good. God is always working for the good of 
Before you leave, let's say what we learned one more time. Say this after me. I can. I can. Thank God. Thank God. Well, I reckon it's time for you to hit the trail. See you later, partners. <laughs>